Utopia with Kia Nube on Trans Africa Radio. How are you doing, Tepo? I'm good and you. Are you a bad, bad? Uh, no ways, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of the good boys, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> Tepo Sukovela is our foodie corner guest today. We're talking view spirits, yeah. So, view, you know, I saw the name and I was saying each and every single letter. <laughs> <laughs> In that word, because it's spelled V I E U X. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So I saw that. I'm just like, <laughs> wow. And South Africans, they go Vux. Yeah. Like, you guys are ruining this name. It's <laughs> <laughs> the black pronunciation. Vux. Yeah, Vux. <laughs> yeah. So Vux. So it's just like a phrase. Like it's a French name. Yeah. Or word that means something old or vintage. So it's like view. Oh, yeah. I like that. Vintage. So, so, vintage you, guys have, old. so you guys have an African drink with a French name. With a French name, correct. <laughs> uh, I just like the French roots as well. You know, like the language as well. Yeah. For me, it's such yeah. a beautiful language. And it has a connection between royalty as well. So mm, mm, uh, mm. as a farm boy, I just feel like, you know, I'd, the land is mine. Everything is mine. So <laughs> I got to own it. Yeah. I think Tepo's advertising himself now. Tepo's definitely advertising himself. Everything is mine. Tepo's advertising himself. Everything is mine. Tepo's advertising himself. Yeah, you'll be able to see Tepo on obviously on our social media. And you will see this so called farm boy. Yeah. Bad mm. bad. Bad bad. Farm boy. <laughs> uh, Tepo, when did view uh, spirits come come alive? Um in a, like initially two thousand nine was just more like an idea. Uh-huh. You know, grew up in a farm seeing moonshine and stuff. So obviously twenty thirteen is when I thought about like okay, this can be a serious business and stuff, you know? And before then in South Africa craft was a bit slow. Mm. And obviously, being black in South Africa as well, sometimes you are not fortunate to have capital and stuff. Mm. So things will take a bit while. But obviously, my approach, I had to start smaller. So 2013, it's where everything started, like the whole craft. And then from there, 2014, I've seen a great traction. And then now, since last year, I've like I've been receiving like great reception from people. So yeah, so we do a whole lot of stuff. Uh, from spirits like from jeans to vodkas to tequilas or I can't say tequila in South Africa so it's blue agave we do cognacs we do whiskeys like a whole lot of spirits and yeah. we do as well yeah. brew beers as well inside us Wow. Yeah. Okay, but cognac is also another one which can't be cognac. I'll yeah, can't, cognac. yeah. So I, I, I have the best one. So it's like a VSOP of ours. So Listen, it's Vue Age. Vue Age. Huge, 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 huge <laughs> cognac fan. So I have something for you. Like we'll have a gentleman's drink, me and you. There and me? Go. Wait, no, leave no, me out no, of no, this. No, for you, <laughs> I have like a rose gold vodka. Something no, with like, roses as well. I don't know if you like vodka or, or cognac. I do, as long as it's alcohol. You say, you say <laughs> ah, okay, so I have a pink gin. I have everything. I was, yeah. actually want to know, why is gin so popular? Why is it such a popular spirit it's becoming very to popular, craft? Because yeah? um, for me, you can able to play around with your herbs and stuff mm. so it has like a lot of herbs as well so if you like your gin to taste in a specific way you can able to add anything and not only herbs but you know citrus as well mm. uh, you can have clementines you can have anything in a gin so you can play around with the flavors as well so it gives you that opportunity to do that and why did you decide to have such a wide range of spirits instead of just maybe <sighs> focusing on one um, honestly, like uh, yeah. So I just felt like there's a, like an opportunity as well. So I get bored easily. So if I create something, I get bored afterwards. So for me, I just like move from one thing to another as well. And from there, a lot of ranges that were created, like all brands as well. So I, I, I'm a creator. So, you, yeah. you just want <laughs> Vux to take over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't be that guy. I'm going to penalize him. He said Vux. <laughs> Don't be that guy. I don't know. I'm, 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 just, I'm just finding... You yeah, know, the, man. This, this black pronunciation of you. So I'm, I'm just finding yeah. very funny. So no, we, we're going to have a campaign like sooner just yeah. to eliminate the whole thing of views okay so okay. it's gonna be an easy thing anywhere you're partying or you're a traveler or anything mm. so i'll be drinking my drink and i'll say this is my view yeah what's your oh. view so at least we'll give you guys that idea like okay this is not spelled views it's view it's view yeah, yeah. That, that, that's, that's <laughs> the brand identity so, is always it's, yeah it's it's, 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 it's quite key. important as well yeah. you know and as a craft as well like within the uh, like such wide range of yeah. uh, industry as well it's like there's like more lesser black guys or lesser black people as well because we are so like experiencing such setbacks from uh, government to licensing so Mm, it's been mm, tough mm. it's not easy so we need all the support from all like the guys around like you know african stuff so yeah 
Okay, so when you come back, we're going to talk about a little bit more of those challenges that you face besides financial, you know. Correct. Like the things that really, really annoy you that shouldn't really be a hindrance in, in your life. You know? Definitely. So, yes, we have Tepo Sokovela, the man behind View Spirits in the building on a foodie corner. Uh, so stay tuned to find out more about him. And if you do have any questions for him, plus 27792544329 is the WhatsApp line. Or hit us up on Twitter at Kiangube at Sugar SK. Yes, it's Sugar Hill. Sugar SK. Hill is K. <laughs> and of course, ours is a trans I'll Africa I'll tell you how I got that name. But well, I'll you tell must. You, I will tell you. <laughs> Let's get I'll into this you. one. A nice flashback to some <laughs> old school double HP. <laughs> And before oh, that, oh, oh, oh. WHP alongside Casper Your Vest and Tash Minus called Wam Zivam To. I know this person. His name him. his name is Tepo Sekoven. <laughs> <laughs> the man the man yeah. the <laughs> most delicious. Look, I'm a I'm a I'm a man's man and I enjoy my cognacs and my other stuff, but he just made a mix which is delicious. Thank you. No, <laughs> no, boss. I'm not drinking while I'm working. <laughs> Let me just put it out there. <laughs> non alcoholic for you. Non alcoholic. Uh, Tepo Sukovela is the man behind View Spirits. It's got vodka. It's got cognac. It's got well, view. What's another word for cognac? There's the inside for the say brandy, but for me because yeah. the, I can't s- associate this with brandy. It's yes. more you know premium and stuff. Okay. So people will say VSOP, but I've given it my own name, which is View Ajay. View Ajay. Right. View Ajay. The View Ajay. All and French. He, and 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 <laughs> obviously the South African version of tequila as well. Yeah. yeah. So I do have uh, three types of uh, tequilas, or we can say blue I gave. Uh, we have like the normal gold, silver. We have coffee based ones as well. So they're just all delicious, guys. Uh, they are delicious. They are. <laughs> and I think let's, let's, let's talk about some of the difficulties that you spoke about before we went to, to, to the song. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. What are some of the difficulties that you faced, obviously, starting out within this industry? You know, you're a black man yeah. and you're, you're a black guy and you, like you said, you're a farm boy. You know, what are some of the difficulties <laughs> coming from where you're coming from yeah. and trying to enter this craft alcohol market correct yes um you know firstly we just we know that craft it's like small uh, batch purchase yes, uh, yes products right yes and for us uh, for instance as someone who's like new in the market yeah for instance for uh, an equipment for you to produce such you're yeah. looking at like anything above 500k so Jeez. if you don't have meaning you have to raise money on your own because banks or other government financial institutes like they don't like really sponsor or give any financial assistance for alcohol obviously mm, mm, mm. so now we look at big players and they're doing well and if you are craft meaning you're wasting time as well people will basically you know surprise you because you're wasting time to execute mm. so those are such difficulties that we face as craft you know at this class in south africa as mm. well as black as well and mainly land as well because obviously for uh, and like national liquor authority board for them to grant you a license you need to have a, a specific premises mm-hmm. which the zoning has to be correct as well and for someone who's like a startup meaning mm-hmm. you have to get now lease uh, agreements you don't have the cash maybe so meaning you have to really raise money out of your own pocket or meaning you have to come together as people and make it happen so, so they make it it's, let me not say they but yeah. it's almost as if it's it's you already just, like certain impossible task. Yeah, kind of. yeah. So they, they, they make the hurdles so high, so high, man. Yeah, you need to climb. And <laughs> true. <laughs> and uh, for white guys, like, I'm sorry, I'm not just being. I'm talking about color now. I'm just mm. talking about business. For instance, like in Cape Town, most of these people they collaborate. Meaning yeah. If I have a license, I can produce some stuff for you in the meanwhile and yeah. waiting for your own license. Mm. So mm. us black guys who are doing it, unfortunately, we're not like that fortunate, you know. Mm. And sometimes I don't like working together. I don't know why. So whoever's listening, who's doing craft, let's come together. Let's make this thing happen. And, you know, let's get There's bigger. There's more than enough market for everyone. For everyone, guys. Because my drinks are different from whoever was here before. Exactly. Yeah. And my craft as well, it's, it's different from his craft. So, mm. yeah. yeah. Mm. So... Um, last week he had um, the man behind Stimela Brew. Oh, Stimela, yeah. Yes. yeah. He was telling us just like, you know, um, the basic startup, if you wanted to get like your own, Yo. is about like 4.5 million rand. Correct. Are you are you looking at around the same yeah. charge with land and everything? Because you're saying the land premises. What are some of those yeah. um, c- restrictions or not restrictions, those T's and C's? Yeah. Sorry to the Stimela guy, right? Because uh, for me, uh, 
I know brewing as well. Brewing is so easy. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, brewing is easy. Uh, if you know it, it's easy. Yeah. So in terms of distillation, it's so difficult because you have to get proper equipment. Yeah. yeah. The fermentation process is different as well mm-hmm. because we have mm-hmm. to check gravity, the temperatures, everything. Yeah. And yeah. the equipments uh, that we use for distilling and brewing they are totally different as well. Yeah. So they are quite pricey. For instance, if I need to produce a good volume, I must buy equipments over a million, only equipments. Jeez. And then from there, we're looking at land, we're looking at bottling uh, uh, equipment as well, which they don't come cheaper as well. So, but we'll get there. As long as we're starting this yeah. thing, we'll um, eventually get there. We were actually just asking you when wh- where you got your bottles as well. Yeah. Of, of, of air, and you said you were waiting for your bottles from Italy uh, as well. Yeah, correct. Yeah, be, yeah. Sorry. So, because uh, we have, like, you know, our local glass companies, like consoles and Nampak, maybe. Mm, mm. So, usually they carry bottles for the SABs or the, f- the winemakers as well. They don't have like a very nice niche bottles that, you know, people like us can use. Uh, some are not even that durable. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. S- sadly, we have to buy from, let's say, Save Atlas in Europe or wherever. And then again, we're looking at the economics now, meaning the exchange rates, everything is quite expensive mm-hmm. now. Our rent mm-hmm. is poor, mm-hmm. it's weaker. So, it means that as someone who's starting a business, meaning you can feel the pinch as well. So, it's not yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Cheese. Tough but, one. But this is the thing that I'm trying to understand, yeah? yeah. In terms of bottling, why is it so why is it more expensive? Mm-hmm. Why is the cost higher here than it actually would abroad. be would be abroad? Because surely if you have something that is in house, mm-hmm. that means that the cut that the cost is is less. Correct, yeah. So um let's say like the local companies as well, what they do, they have obviously a minimum order quantity. For instance, they'll say, Tepo, your business, how many liters or whatever uh, that is going to produce per annum, mm. which some has to be like 500k bottles per annum. And as a craft, you can't even reach that number as a startup. Oh, okay. yeah. yes. So they can able to make something for you, but at a certain, you know, order quantity as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, guys, <laughs> like I'm, I'm thinking about all of this and it's really not easy trying no. to to start it up here yeah? and the fact that you are doing it right now and you said you looked at it at 2013 from mm. being from actually making it some sort of a business yeah how did how why did you actually really finally decide to make it a business um because it was more like a hobby before mm-hmm. and then i had a vision like you know what I, I gotta see my bottles in the shelves where i go and I felt like I can make a good, you know, profitable business into like from this alcohol. Because again, for me, alcohol is about nature, farming as well. So sustainability as well, meaning if now I'm going to buy my raw materials from a f- small farm in Mpumalanga, I'm support like I'm supporting another mother or farmers like they that the small farmers because I get my stuff from Pumalanga, which I'm supporting like local farmers there as well. So from my I like meat, that you, you're giving back to, to yeah to correct the yeah that because come from. yeah so it has to be that way you know so and I try to use more organic stuff you know because I'm, I'm I'm big in terms of green as well so hence that's why is I said the that is the things. the ingredients that you use yeah. into your your your, your drink uh, is it important the type of ingredients that you use because I understand like you're saying right now you're using more organic yeah um, produce. Um, yeah, is there yeah. a difference in terms of maybe the quality or, or, or like the end quality of yes. the drink? Is there is there a difference with the type of produce that you use? It is, like it is, eh? because I can't just buy any type of wheat or I can say so, you know, mm-hmm. because it depends on as well like on the soil or the climate as well. If it's like a winter wheat as well, which produce a good quality alcohol. And some they use even sugar. Like I've been trying to use sugar canes as well. So I was buying my sugar canes as well down there. So which a good like a good quality sugar cane as well versus wheat. They will always taste different, even if like good quality from both sides as well. Yeah. So it, it depends well what taste do I want uh, to produce as well for my condensed was out there, you know? Yeah. When we come back, we're going to talk about the life of a mixologist, you know, because he's, he's the one who's mixing all these drinks. Ew. And also, what, what what are your products made from? Like you're saying, wheat, yeah. sugar cane and things like that. You don't need to give away the secret recipe. Don't worry. <laughs> I can give away that can't even come close. <laughs> <laughs> so for Sukhoven, the man behind View Spirits, yeah, you heard him. <laughs> He'll give you the recipe, but you just may not get it as great as he has it, right? Mm.
<laughs> he knows good when the buff lady walks into the studio and she and sits down. Ah, man. That is when you know. That is when you know that's what the hit in studio. I hope she's enjoying it. <laughs> that's um, view gin. Okay, what's in it? Uh, it's just uh, gin and grapefruit. Oh, it's Because I like grapefruit. It's built, you, basically, we're having like a healthy drink I right now. I never thought that grapefruit mm. is something that I would have in a drink. Correct. It uh, looks beautiful. Guys. Thank you. It's pink. I'm actually <laughs> glad we have the boss lady in the studio. I'd like for her to actually be featured to, to the, on, to, on today's Foodie Corner. Please. Please. I'm a Mrs. gin girl, so I'm ready yeah. to talk. <laughs> First of all, it's pink. <laughs> Gosh, it, it, it can be nice listening to this because you're not in the studio. You can't see it. Uh, we should have, you know, gone live or something. Well, Periscope to this. <laughs> yeah. um, what is this? Rosemary. Uh, rosemary. rosemary. I, right. I have a whole tree of rosemary uh, in my house. Uh, Anytime you want, beautiful. just I I'll, I'll give you a ring. It's as big. No, I'm serious. No, it's as big as this I appreciate that. Room. You. Okay. I love that. So it's what what gin is this? Uh, it's it's my gin. own gin. Uh, I call it like Blue Jewel. It is most. It's not like a very bitter gin. It's beautiful. It, it has a bit of citrus inside. Yeah. So it's a very nice It's one. like a Pusa Friday. It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a very, like, a Pusa Friday, like, in a nice style. You know? you, this is what it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> good one. Good one. <laughs> no, I, think, I think my show is over. Yeah, <laughs> the show is over. The show is like, over. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> so we're going to call this, like, View Friday. Yeah. yeah no Pusa Friday. View and, Friday. Then, and then you really do need that last bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's tonic no no tonic. no tonic gin, it's already mixed it's, yes everything it's, it's, in it's there. his product view spirit so it's gin his gin his his pre-mix of uh the grapefruit um wow. the grapefruit um syrup and of course all of these other so how do people like me order because i'm ready yeah um, i'm sure by end of, end of september you can buy directly <laughs> online oh it's fantastic as well, we're gonna open like a nice boutique mm. store somewhere oh yeah yeah so we're gonna open like a view lounge so i was hoping to find a space in brinston so we'll see that's great because some of these craft these craft liquors aren't really readily available and yeah, they're kind of yes. far away between places. True. So the fact that you have your own boutique store, yeah. that is a great thing. So you congratulations can find everything. on that one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. Mixology. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How did wow. you get into this journey of mixology? Uh, I think taste inspires me and because I'm the guy behind the whole ingredients, all the spirits and stuff. So... It kind of like a mood for me. If I need to create something, it could be for a weather. If it's cold, I can create. I like drinking my view age, or people say cognac VSOP with a nice cafe latte, a, yeah. thing, a chai, yeah. chai, chai latte. Mm. When it's warm, it's nice as well. So uh, it for me, it's like anything, eh? from taste to mood or anything so yeah to colors because the drink that you gave our <laughs> boss lady is definitely pink yeah <laughs> She's definitely and, loving it. and uh, you must have in a good glass as well so every, every glass kind of like you know complement the drink yeah so yeah now i just want to ask about mixology because i've always considered myself a mixologist yes correct <laughs> <laughs> uh, is, is this something you go to school for or you can just because you know how to make a good drink does yeah. it make you a mixologist or that's taking that's really undermining yeah, the, 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 the craft no, qu qu quite i agree because mixology for me it's like a craft itself yes. so some they go to school some they do learn there's videos online but honestly, it's when you create something new, like creating a new drink, you know, giving like giving it like a name. Mm -hmm. So that's like for me, it's mixology. So mixology is, is experimenting. It's basically. experiment. Yeah, for it's, it's like all about experiment, like uh, 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 experiential for all your drinks that you produce. Like, so, so you are a chef, but in liquid form. Uh, we could say that. Liquid yeah. chef. Yes. Oh, he's a liquid <laughs> chef. <laughs> you yeah. know, so, so what type of events have you have have you been to where? Um, I was like, more more like colleagues and friends. I okay. would, like I, I would give out like nice complimentary drinks to VIP areas. There's like few events in Pretoria, right there in Joburg as well. So I'm really cl I'm <laughs> really 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 close to buying down to Sepa right now. I'm really close to. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you know. Yeah, we have a little you know two step happening in the building. You right? know it's good. <laughs> you know it's good when the boss lady walks into the studio and she and sits down. <laughs> Ah, man. <laughs> that is when you know. That is when you know. That's what the hits in the studio. I hope she's enjoying it. <laughs>
<laughs> that's um, Virgin. Okay, what's in it? Uh, it's just uh, gin and grapefruit. Oh, it's because I like grapefruit. It's built. You, basically, we're having like a healthy drink I right now. I never thought that grapefruit mm. is something that I would have in a drink. Correct. It uh, looks beautiful. Guys. Thank you. It's pink. I'm actually <laughs> glad we have the boss lady in the studio. I'd like for her to actually be featured to, to the, on, to, on today's Foodie Corner. Please. <laughs> Please. I'm a gin girl, so I'm ready yeah. to talk. <laughs> First of all, it's pink. <laughs> Gosh, it, it, it can be nice listening to this because you're not in the studio. You can't <laughs> see it. Uh, we should have, you know, gone live or something. Well, periscoped this. Yeah. Um, what is this? Rosemary. Uh, rosemary. rosemary. I, right. I have a whole tree of rosemary oh. in my house. Uh, Anytime you want, beautiful. just... I can, I'll, I'll give you a ring. It's as big... No, I'm serious. No, it's as big as this I appreciate that. Room, you. okay? I love that. So, it's what, what gin is this? Uh, it's it's my gin. own gin. Uh, I call it like Blue Jewel. It is most, it's not like a very bitter gin. It's beautiful. It, it has a bit of citrus inside. Yeah, so it's a very nice. It's one. like a Pusa Friday. It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a very like a Pusa Friday, like in a nice style. You you know? This is what it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, good one. <laughs> no, I, think, I think my show is over. <laughs> yeah, the show is over. The show is like, over. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> so we're going to call this like View Friday. Yeah. yeah no Pusa Friday. View and, then, Friday. and then you really do need that last bit. Yeah. yeah. That <laughs> <laughs> so it's tonic. No, no tonic. No tonic. Gin, it's already mixed. It's, yes. Everything it's, it's, in it's there. It's his product, View Spirit. So it's gin, his gin, his his pre-mix of uh, the grapefruit um, wow. the grapefruit um, syrup. And of course, all of these other So how do people like me order? Because I'm ready. Yeah. Um, I'm sure by end of, end of September, you can buy directly <laughs> online. Oh, it's fantastic. Or as well, we're going to open like a nice boutique mm. store somewhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we're going to open like a View Lounge. So I was hoping to find a space in Bryanston. So we'll see. That's great because some of these craft these craft liquors aren't really readily available and yeah, they're kind of yes. far away between places. True. So the fact that you have your own boutique store, yeah. that is a great thing. So you congratulations can find everything. on that one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. Mixology. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How did wow. you get into this journey of mixology? Uh, I think taste inspires me and because I'm the guy behind the whole ingredients, all the spirits and stuff. So... It kind of like a mood for me. If I need to create something, it could be for a weather. If it's cold, I can create. I like drinking my view age, or people say cognac VSOP with a nice cafe latte, a, thing, yeah. a chai, yeah. chai, chai latte. Mm. When it's warm, it's nice as well. So it for me, it's like anything, eh? from taste to mood. Or anything, so yeah. To colors, because the drink that you gave our <laughs> boss lady is definitely pink. Yeah, <laughs> She's definitely and, loving. It. And uh, you must have in a good glass as well. So every, every glass kind of like you know complement the drink. Yeah. So yeah. Now I just want to ask about mixology because I've always considered myself a mixologist. Yes, correct. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is is this something you go to school for, or you can just because you know how to make a good drink, does um, it make you a mixologist, or that's taking that's really undermining yeah, the, 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 the craft? Though, qu quite quite right, I agree because mixology for me is like a craft itself. Yes. So some they go to school, some they do learn. There's videos online. But honestly, it's when you create something new, like creating a new drink, you know, giving like giving it like a name. Mm. So that's like for me, it's mixology. So mixology is, is experimenting. It's basically. experiment. Yeah, for it's, it's like all about experiment, like uh, 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 experiential for all your drinks that you produce. Like, so, so you are a chef, but in liquid form. Uh, we could say that. Liquid yeah. chef. Yes. Oh, he's a liquid <laughs> chef. <laughs> <laughs> or is there yeah. a process behind it? Do you need to? constantly come back and check it and add something to it though correct yes so obviously you have to go back blend it, like let's say the spirit as well okay to give you a preferred taste okay and okay. and obviously it has to be a very similar taste every single time so you have to make it right yeah and obviously the more you preserve it or the more you age it obviously the better it's a the good taste. investment for you so it's the more it's gonna get expensive as well you know <laughs> and yeah. you and you age in barrels. Uh, barrels, correct. Yeah. What wood do you use? Uh, there's, we, obviously, there's oak, and oak is treated in different ways as well. You know. What's your it's, favorite? Uh, it's like an old oak, which but probably is being used by people who produce bourbon. 
Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Ruben's okay. another good thing, eh? I have bubble as well. Huh. Yeah. So, like, look, guys, much view, view has everything. Eh? Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, like, we have everything. This is why he has his own boutique store. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> so, when you get there, don't say, I want whatever. Just say, Just give me a brandy or give me a coke. Yeah. or whatever. We'll give Speaking you whatever. Speaking of, of boutique store, yes. um, how do people get in touch with your boutique store? You know, what's the... Do they go into the, onto your website, your social media? Because um, right now it's still under being developed. Okay. So we're going to launch soon. So obviously I'll give out more, more information on social media platforms as well. Yeah. So people will know. They just have to wait a bit. Sorry. <laughs> what is your social media handle for, um, for all our listeners out there? All right. So for me, Tepo is Tepo Craftmaster uh, on Instagram. And then Facebook is Tepo Sokobela. And then for my company, View Spirit, that's both a, that's Facebook. V-I-E-U-X. Correct, yeah, yeah. not V I E W. Yeah, so for both Instagram and Facebook, it's View Spirits. And then you can see the other sub products or brands under View. Well, within yeah. the space of two a year years. Oh, yeah, and a half. Correct. You yeah. actually added, or you you now have a range of uh, more than six or seven different. Uh, variants of alcohol in your in, in your company, Correct, which yeah. is yeah, yeah. something of a, an amazing, it's like, it's an amazing feat. Thanks, it guys. Is. And then view. Yeah. How did this name come along? View. Sounding you know? also royal. Yeah, man. And expensive. I have two older brothers, so we love music so much. We love jazz. We listen to lounge, everything. So we, I think they took me to go see a guy perform by the name of View, uh, uh, Facture. Hmm. So obviously I followed his music, Jane, I followed his music as well, and I just fell in love with his music. So, And I researched a bit about View, the meaning behind it. So it's where I just named my company View. Jeez. So because of the love of music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I was following the music through that. Oh. <laughs> like my, 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 my product, yeah. Also, speaking of music, how hard is it going to a club or an event or whatever mm. and and drinking someone, and else drinking yeah. someone else or another product yeah, that it's you it to yourself <laughs> I know my man. product is better it's like the funny thing always if I'm it's me and my girlfriend when I order a drink I always tell them please add one two three four five and they give me a funny look yeah it's like you know too much what's up with you eh? <laughs> just so, so you start getting a special order yeah, please don't that's the thing so I, and say, like nicely they always let me be and they'll just bring whatever that I need and I'm yeah. just mixing it myself so it is quite nice but it is a bit difficult sometimes especially in clubs because in a club it's just like your bottle and lemonade or yeah. Red Bull yeah. and stuff yeah. so and for me it's not cranberry. nice yeah so it's so not us drinking in a club I don't enjoy drinking in a club so nah nah and, and yeah have you had have you had someone else's um craft um liquor that you've actually really enjoyed yeah making? definitely uh, uh more guys in cape town there's hope uh, uh distillery as well they have like nice products as well there and then Joggins as well it's like an old guy as well from cape town he has like very nice products as well there so there's like a lot of like crafts from cape town that i really do love mm-hmm. and as well the what they produce like very good quality alcohol as well yeah so I love that. So what is the difference then, you think, between Joburg and, and, and Cape Town? Obviously, I think Cape Town is a little bit ahead, ahead of Johannesburg. Yeah, yeah oh, it is ahead. And every other province mm. in terms of craft. And in Joburg, obviously, we relied on Cape Town to bring stuff down here from yeah. markets, from everything yeah. as well. So hence, we're a bit behind. But currently, I feel like we are as well getting there yeah. and definitely will get there fully as well, yeah. Um, when we come back, um, because I don't want this to end. I don't want to leave <laughs> as I well. I can see. I don't I want this see. to end, you know. <laughs> I'm going to ask you um, a couple, like two more questions that I think are, yeah. are pretty relevant to you. Okay. And of course, us as food lovers, you know. Yes. So yes, stay tuned. We'll be talking view spirits with Tepo Tsukhovela right now. Let's get into his Itchy Feet Friday request. <laughs> How are you um, changing that narrative in this in this yeah. in this industry, especially for us blacks? <laughs> like yeah. let's because let's let's get real about because, it. Because truthfully, for truthfully us, speaking, it's, it's, it's what it's what we drink. It's just listen. I'm not coming back home. Yes, and That's how it. and and how are you teaching people to actually drink alcohol yeah. instead of just buying a really expensive bottle of alcohol and mixing it with cheap stuff? True, you gotta respect the craft, you yes. know. <laughs> so, for me, view offers a platform to connect to us, not people who just drink alcohol to get drunk. So, we're trying to offer more experiential drinks 
So hence with the whole idea of a boutique, we're trying to make sure people can come for free tastings as well. And how to be, I think, not taught, but just to share the whole uh, mixology art behind every, like each and every drink that we create as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, because drinks are meant to be enjoyed, man, not just to get drunk. Yeah. And the best thing about view, you won't get a hangover. Seriously? Trust me, I promise you guys. No smelly, smelly mouth in the morning. No <laughs> hangover. So you can go to work right after you know, you can I'm go to work yeah. on a Monday. I'm or very right after or hangover. Or if you don't drink for two hours, if you stop now, you drink. You're gonna, you're going to get a bit sober afterwards. Trust me. I'm really me. tempted to try this out, actually. <laughs> try it. And I'm not just one to actually drink, drink, a lot of, <laughs> drink a lot of no. different spirits on a Sunday and then come right you to work on a Monday. What? Trust me. That's still like in my head right now. No hangover. <laughs> no hangover. <laughs> like no hangover. You're gonna wake up no like hangover. an angel in the morning. Trust me. Whoa. Yeah. My mother's gonna what's be happy with that one. What's the, what's the reason behind you all called not having a hangover? Uh, it's a great distillation and great uh, filtration as well behind it. I thought the smoother it was, like the. The, the, more the easier, the, 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 easier yeah. the hangover was. Yeah, because if it's smooth as well, people they just drink like I can't taste it. So yeah. you want to drink more and more, and they get drunk, you know. So I think with my craft, it's just like you know, in a level to it. Like it's it's quite nice. It's so, sexy. That's yeah. what he's trying to say. Yeah. 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 It's sexy. Not bad, bad. Yeah. So. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> um, how many times are each of your um, products uh, distilled? So you're, let's start off your vodka, your vodka. Uh, vo vodkas that are all six times distilled and uh, three times six. filtered as well. Okay. So for instance, uh, for my gin and stuff, uh, to, to, to make gin, it's almost a similar process. What do you make your gin out of? I'm sorry. For oh, just juniper berries uh, and citrus as well. So you don't use uh, potatoes, I think. Uh, no, vodka no, no. potatoes. Uh, no, no, you can make uh, uh, vodka from potatoes, from wheat, from sugar. Okay. Anything, as long as anything ferments. You as long as it ferments, basically. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So six times distilled, three times filtered, filtered is the yeah, vodka. It's the vodka. Um, uh, your and gin? Then gin is just three times distilled, three times uh, filtered as well, because you want to extract too much flavors from it as well, you know? Yeah, because okay. it has more. Okay. Yeah. I just want to know, yeah. quick, 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 what's the difference between filtration and, and distillation. distillation okay so when you when you distill it's when you're taking your ready uh, mesh which is from the fermentation process okay and then from there you're going to transfer it into your distillation pots so basically a vodka you're drinking a steam it's a process so it's a steam so every drop from that boiler it's vodka so it will okay. be like a steam every drop. It's like a vodka, vodka, vodka. Oh, and then you get okay. like probably pure vodka, which can be, no, not even vodka at that time. You can say ethanol. So it's like probably 96 to 98 <laughs> percent alcohol Jeez. volume content. Yeah. <laughs> no. So from there, you have wow. to dewater it down to at least 40 or 43 percent, and from there you distill again. So that's like redistillation. So for me to get a finer taste of alcohol, I have to repeat the same stage six times. Oh, and from there, when okay. it's ready, do water it again to let's say for three percent, and from there I filter it. So some they use charcoal filter, some they use like uh, homemade filters as well to filter the alcohol. Basically, that's where you're removing like you know particles that you don't want from yeah, the yeah. vodka. Yeah. So that's like filter, like filtering process. Wow. Mm. I'm actually learning a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a bit of science in here, so I still have science back there. Yeah. There's a lot of science. In yep. This. So that's the one. Wow, it's mm. like I'm still kind of flabbergasted with, with everything that you have like, <laughs> been able to like do, you know. Yeah, so thank you. once again, a very big congratulations to you for actually being able to do this uh, and keep it. at it at the same time. Please, and thanks please. for the platform, guys. We're thank yeah. you for having me. Yeah. Definitely going to be supporting. Yeah. Definitely so going to be supporting. Last time, how can we get a hold of you? Social media, email, the whole just uh, of it. So emails, it's either tepo at viewspirits.co.za or info at viewspirits.co.za. And we have a website as well, which will be up in two weeks, which is www.viewspirits.co.za. Social media platforms, me, Instagram. I, li I like Instagram more, I don't know. I, it's <laughs> than Facebook. I'm not a Facebook fan. So it's Tepo Craftmaster. Instagram. And it's, and it's view V I E U X. -E 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 not yeah. for, 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 for all of the mm. other stubborn individuals, it's Vux, but it's View. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> view. Say so it's like a nice, sexy, you know. 
be sexy. The ladies, yeah. Just, just mm. like, just like, just like the packaging mm. is yeah. looking mm. sexy as well. I love you. your packaging. Thank I you. Actually, I actually and actually, I must give props to the lady. Uh, name the name by Wendy Dixon, just the one behind the whole the brand, the NTTV. Yeah. So I actually foresee problems with this alcohol during the fact uh, the festive season, eh? Imagine, <laughs> the fact that it's it's, <laughs> imagine you with a lady and just baby, just that 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 view of vodka, just that one. That do, do you know what Tepo has done? <laughs> He's made so that each and every single person buys their own bottle. Yeah. Exactly. So if you that person exactly. coming around thinking that you can go ahead and scale off other people, mm. shame. Yeah, <laughs> only comes in five hundred mils and two fifty mils. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> It's no, over for you. No invitation. Yeah. It's over for it's you. It's a one man loaders. bottle. Yeah. Yeah. We're not Tapa trying thing. to flip the table. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much to you, Tepper, for Thank coming. Thank you so through. much, guys. Thank you so um, much. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be following you wherever you go here. Yeah? Everywhere. I appreciate like everywhere, 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 everywhere. And once again, congratulations on this and all the best for the future. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys, and stay blessed as well. Thank you. Yeah, Sandy, it's been a great. It's been absolutely so, fantastic. So, so I think it's official. Foodie Corner is like now, now and a half. <laughs> yeah, I think because of Seppo. Yeah, it's his fault. Now, now and a half. We'll come talk about 12 wolves soon, eh? Hey. Yes, he he's behind so many he things. Yeah. So he's doing so many things, eh? That's, that's as long movie. as he's making yeah, us happy. Yeah. As long as you're making <laughs> us happy and you're going to be making yeah. the rest of Africa happy then. That is great. And there's the world eventually happy. Thanks, then. guys. Yeah, so, listen. you and I will be back together again next week, Friday? Yes. Yes. Definitely. Thank you so much, guys. It is your Itchy Feet Friday request a song hour. Yeah, well, more like 35 minutes of it. But do send me all of your requests. Plus 27792544329 is the WhatsApp line. Or oh, at Kiang Lube is my Twitter handle. And of course, ours is a trance. Africa 872. This one, especially for Wendy. This, this, this is Trans Africa Radio.